Hello, hello. Okay, so as usual, uh, I'm not using a script. I'm just kind of talking. Um, the only reason why I'm doing a voiceover is because I did this Instagram poll and there was like this many people who said that they wanted a voiceover. So this is specifically for those people. And if you didn't like, you could, you could just mute the audio. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's not like I spent time working on it or anything. I don't really have a problem with doing voiceovers. I think it's just cause like, I, I can't listen to myself while I'm editing that many times because it just gets really grating so I just can't do it so I started doing the text which is fun but um it takes too much time to do the text because I want to make it all aesthetic looking why is there discord going off you said hold on, hold on. you think you have friends that wasn't as funny as I thought it would be <laughs> okay so anyways I will try to do a nice voice and hopefully why am i clapping hopefully people will enjoy it if not i don't really care so i decided to do the murder house from american horror story which is actually based on a real house which is called the um It is known as the Rosenheim Mansion, located at 1120 Westchester Place in Los Angeles. Now I am aware that this mansion has been used in other films and other TV shows, etc. But uh, I think of it as the murder house because I watched it first from American Horror Story. And I'm, I'm not going to talk about my, my thoughts about American Horror Story as a series, as a whole, because I know it is problematic and I know that a lot of people really do not like American Horror Story anymore so I'm not talking about the show at all I am just talking about the house so this was a personal project for myself I am actually in the process of making a few more miniature homes that were based from TV or film and I'm hoping to exhibit them at some point this year if I am able to complete all the other houses I have completed another one already which is based on the Netflix show the house from 2022 and I'll just put some pictures right here of how I finished that. I didn't film it because I had no intentions of filming it. And I, I honestly didn't think I was even going to film this one. If you can maybe tell, the quality of this video is not as good because this is actually from my iPhone. And I, I never intended to actually film this whole thing. But then at some point I realized that I have like almost an entire video of the process of making this house. So I just decided to make it into a video and just put it out. <laughs> Now the process of actually making these houses is actually quite extensive, so I'm actually not showing you everything else that I've had to do prior to actually getting started. So luckily for me, the Rosenheim Manor or mansion is actually well documented in the sense that you can actually find floor plans of this house online. Um, the only discrepancies I've been able to find was the fact that the house on the show is not consistent with the floor plans. So the biggest difference that you might have noticed from the show and if you look at the floor plans is that the kitchen does not match. Uh, the kitchen just doesn't make sense with the floor plan and if you look at the real house the kitchen is actually quite small and it hasn't been modernized in the way that it has been on the show. There are a couple other things that just aren't consistently the same and there are a few things that I just didn't know of when I started making the house like I didn't know which windows had stained glass I didn't know which ones were like those French panels and it's also confusing because in the show they actually do change a lot of the windows so a lot of them are modern are modern and some aren't and it's just it hasn't really been consistent so I tried not to let that bother me too much and I hope that that doesn't bother people also because it's not screen accurate and it's not, I guess, like real life accurate, but it's the most accurate that I could make it at the time with the information that I had. <laughs> so talking about process again, I had to actually go through the floor plan, draw the floor plan, and kind of visualize it on paper before I could get started. Every single piece is measured, which is why most of the pieces fit, like you can see here. This is really cute, really small little plant that I'm gonna put in the, uh, the little front little thingy. <laughs> there are 
are a whole bunch of actually really small cute little tiny details that I did add into it which I guess you cannot see all of them while in film uh, you're gonna have to see it if you see it in, in real life or not so I, I don't know <laughs> so the entire time I've been jabbering about other stuff I guess I could talk about the supplies so the windows are actually made out of polymer clay which are, are the frames and then um, almost everything else is just like recycled materials and materials I already had uh, like the plastic is just from plastic packaging that I've kept and um, the pink stuff that I had for the brick wall which in hindsight I don't really like anymore uh, is just wall spackle that dries white which you have seen in the video and then I just painted over it with like this really um, I would call it a more red based terracotta color so you can actually see, I actually made two of the little gazebos because the first one I made, I didn't have a plan. I thought I could make it without a plan. Looks bad. So it's actually currently living in one of my plants right now. And then I made a new one, which is a little bit cleaner and I do like this one better. So this is the one that I used. Gave you a little bit quiet ASMR time. If you want ASMR, I have tons of other videos that I've done. Uh, here, I'm pointing in the air. Maybe I'll put pictures over it. I probably won't. And now the the back of the house is quite a, a topic of uh, discourse because no one seems to have any consistent uh, photos of it. Seems like they do use a little bit of the church in the TV show. Um, which is actually part of the mansion, which sometimes they cover and sometimes they don't. And uh, there's like this little garden house thingy that sometimes people add in there and sometimes they don't. It seems like a lot of recreations of the mur murder house in different uh, forms. Like what I was using for reference was also Sims videos. People were making the murder house in Sims 3 and Sims 4. I found one which was the most screen accurate and I will put that up here which I just want to highlight because it was the most screen accurate video that I could find. Whereas other ones they were maybe off with the window selection or some of the spacing was weird or they just added something that I didn't think it was really necessary. But yeah, I think it's also interesting that a lot of murder house interpretations that I've seen had their kind of own spin on it, which is nice. So I guess what I'm saying is this is my interpretation. And if you don't like it, then you can leave. <laughs> so right now I'm just showing how I actually make fake grass and fake mossy type things because I found that just putting moss doesn't look as realistic as it could be. It could obviously look a lot more realistic. You can get fake grass. However, I haven't been able to go to my hobby shop to get fake grass and I am not paying $40 for fake grass for it to be shipped from someplace in Europe on Amazon. So <laughs> this will have to do. I think it's a good alternative because you can usually find moss at dollar stores. Um, I don't recommend using real moss. I don't think you should do that. I think you should find fake moss at dollar stores. Just as a side note, whenever you're doing things such as sanding or you have anything that are like small particles like this, make sure you're wearing a mask because you don't want to breathe that in and also it's gonna get everywhere. Just make sure that you know about uh, art media safety. Just make sure you know what you're doing and um, that you're being safe when you need to be safe. And you can still be safe anyways. Even if you think you're not already being safe. Okay, yeah. Oh, like for example, the wall spackle. 
that is toxic. Please wear a mask and gloves when you're using it. Uh, I, I, I think a big one that people tend to neglect is actually resin. It's very toxic. Please wear a glove. Please wear gloves and a mask and a respirator if possible. Do not get this on your face or on your eyes. There are tons of art mediums that are actually really bad for you. Please look it up. I feel like there isn't enough push for safety when it comes to different art media. So just take some time and make sure that what you're using is actually safe for you. And if it is not safe for you, to take the proper measures to make sure that it is as safe for you as possible. Sophia is sleeping on the bookshelf. <laughs> So most of the trees and like the branches thing thingies that I get are just from outside and if you want to buy trees and little branch thingies you are totally welcome to if you can't find them where you are but uh, honestly you could probably find it if you just go outside somewhere especially now that it's spring right now there's probably a whole bunch of just like fallen branches and stuff very easy to find things outside that will work so hopefully if you were paying attention to the video, you might have been able to pick up uh, everything that I used to make this murder house miniature. I will still be listing a list of supplies that I used in the description if you're really interested. And I will put um, links where I think it might be appropriate. Um, but otherwise, this is pretty much what I used to make the murder house miniature mansion. <laughs> Now, are there things that I could potentially improve on? Absolutely, there are things that I don't really like about this build, but do I still love it anyways? Yes. And is it something that I want to improve on next time? Who knows? Maybe I'll make it again at some point. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. A spooky laugh. Okay, no, bye bye. <laughs>